Hey, everybody, we're going to be looking at a vocal effect. This is something I heard just this week with Billie Eilish's album, and it's a, kind of a cool effect. It's on at least a couple of the songs, but Zanny is one of them. And her voice has this stutter that gets introduced into it. And so I was just thinking of ways that I could do something similar using Logic default plugins. And this is one of the ways that I came up with. So first of all, I've got a vocal track coming in. And it is being sent, instead of to the output, to a bus. And I deleted that auxiliary channel that gets automatically created. And that bus is then coming into a second track. It's an instrument track. And this is a little bit more complicated. There's a few things about instrument tracks which I don't like in Logic. One of them is you have to have an instrument loaded in them for them to do anything. So if there's no instrument, it just really turns off the channel. So I loaded... Uh, retro synth. I'm not going to be using it in this case. And uh, this is a technique. I'm going to leak it down in the description. Someone else really put this up online and I saw this, but it's a really cool way to route audio in through um, instrument tracks. You can use the MIDI effects. So real-time audio. So what I have is a compressor here. And on the compressor in the side chain option, I have it set to listen and I have the side chain set to bus one. So now my audio track is coming in on this channel, but it's being routed directly over to this instrument channel through the compressor. Compressor's not doing anything. I have it through a pitch correction, which I really like when I'm recording and using things. And then down after that, it's set to this gain plugin. And then above, we have the modulator. And this modulator, let's open it back up, is set to a square wave at a rate of 64th notes. And then right now the output is pulled to 100 and the offset is pulled to 100. The destination for this is the gain knob on this gain plugin. So if I were to unmute this, you could hear, here's that effect. So la. And it looks a little weird, but that's just partly because it's set to 64th notes, and so it's really trying to keep up with what we're doing. I want to be able to control this, and so on my keyboard, I've got my faders, and I want to be able to move this up and down. So in the smart controls down here, I set this first knob. I learned, pushed learn, and then I moved my offset. So now this knob controls my offset, and then... I clicked down here for the external assignment, clicked learn, and I moved the fader on my keyboard. So now I have real-time control over this. If I push it all the way up, it sounds just like the voice is going straight through. As I pull it down, this gain adjustment now goes into play at a rate of 64 times uh, a beat. And so you have really kind of this cool stutter. You can use this on any of the different tracks. You can send it to multiple instruments so you can actually blend things together, but it's a really cool way to be able to add that modulation effect to a live audio input. Okay, that's all I wanna show. Just this really, it's really convoluted in a way. So if you're really interested in this, definitely go back through the video, watch those steps. I maybe went a little bit fast, but if you watch it again and, and really pay attention to all the knobs and stuff, I think you'll be able to get it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll respond and, and try to clarify as much as possible.